Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena and today we are celebrating FN what's that? We're enjoying FNM. I'm not sure if celebrating is quite in yet. I know some people are saying that oh historic brawl um, not exactly the friendliest thing, but you know what? It's not often that we get to play historic brawl, so any time we get to play historic brawl, that's a celebration in my book. So I'm actually gonna try something a bit different with this one. I considered trying to do like a dwarf deck, but I'm so short on all the rares and whatnot. So I decided to try something to see if it actually works. So this is basically a death touch deck. Now everyone pretty much wanted to make a death touch deck based around Finn here, but um, if we if we're gonna go mono green, we're gonna be way too short on playables here. So we are doing green black. So let's take a look at what our actual payoffs are. So our commander is Viraska Swarm's Eminence, so uncommon commander, we can check that check that one down. The idea is um her on the battlefield are death touch commanders if they hit the uh, are de death touch creatures if they hit the player they get larger, so that's one way to close out the game. And she can also make um she can also make creatures that uh, um with death touch and can actually s kill planeswalkers in one hit, so that's actually a good one. So that's our main payoff. Our our real payoff here is okay. Let's move some of these cards down down here. So let's start with the payoff cards here. So the real payoff is one Finn. That's pretty much ev what everyone wants to do. People have been doing this in standard for quite a while. I've not been a fan of that, but we might see if this works better there. And Hooded Blightfang is our additional extra win con here. So just attacking um, drains our opponent of one life, and we gain one life. So we get to go. So, so we get to go around that way. So we have, um, so yeah, centering our win based on three cards is a bit sketchy, even if our, e e even if we have a lot of other creatures to support. Um, sure, we have lots of other creatures, but remember, because it's death touch, they're not very big. So we have to take a look at what are the cards that are used to pick, um, to get those guys. So. Let's start with our tutor elements here. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to be moving even more cards down. So Mar Triton um, mills a few cards. We're not exactly don't have a big mill team, but we do have ways of getting cards back. So once upon a time kind of helps. Oh, Cheville, not quite that touch, but um does benefit from creatures dying, so that's a plus. Fiend Artisan and Finale of Devastation. That's our, those are our shoot. Those are our main shooters for one of these guys, and the fact that the um, that our targets are relatively cheap, two mana, two mana, three mana, so very easy to tutor for them if we have to. We also have where's Var uh, Varagoth? That's on. That's also another shooter, and that's pretty much it in terms of shooters. We can kind of use our turn timber symbiosis as a way to dig for it. Not quite a big bit of a shooter. Other than that, we have ways of reanimating all our stuff here. So let's keep moving our cards again. So Mar Triton kind of fits there as a way to shooter stuff. But we have Call of the Death Dweller. That's a good shooter. Inscription of Ruin. Return target creature with converted mana cost two or less. So that's two out of three. So that's pre that's actually pretty good. Midnight Reaper is a good way to draw cards. We'll keep that. We'll just move it to the side. Oh wait, did I take it out? Oops. Hold on. Let's put it back in. What one of the few non one of the few non um non dead touch creatures, but very important to have. So, because we're expecting our creatures to die a lot. Midnight Reaper. Okay, so let's move that back there. So is a very good way to reanimate stuff? Murderous Rider also not a uh, not that touch, but we do need some of those cards. So in other words, a little bit of extra utility here. Blood on the Snow is also our other reanimation reanimation target of sorts. Although we are kind of wiping our board, but then it also doesn't quite work with Hornet Queen because um that this is six, this is a seven, but. It's a good way to get almost everything else. Gitrog Monster helps us draw true cards. Veraska also helps us draw true stuff as well. Uh, we have a little bit of everything, but we do have a lot of cre 
um, death touch. So we're going to see how well this goes. Yeah, we're, we're just going to give it a shot at least. No, no guarantees that this is a perfect experiment, but it's something interesting at least. We can also see what we could add or subtract. Note that our removal is like Assassin's Trophy, so I did not put a Maelstrom Pulse in, but we do have an Assassin's Trophy. We have quite a few ways of rem our removal is mostly on the rat side of things. We also have Find Finality. There should be a Find Finality in the decklist if I'm not mistaken. So... Hmm, we... I will keep this. Basically, Woodland Castle because it's we have a Swamp Forest, at least. I will go Blooming Marsh, turn 2 into a, into Gifted Aetherborn. There's our Hornet King, but... I guess an argument could be made for Mar Triton first. Yeah, let's go Mar Triton first. Opponent has a lot of life gain here, so we really need that pin. Ooh, we just lost the Assassin's Trophy, so not that, those not good pulls. And it is taking their time, though. Our opponent's also playing Vito, so basically, like, could be mono. This is mono black life gain, lots of disruption, so. I'm going to go that I'm 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 going to just um, play a few more extra creatures for now. So mm, that touch normally it's death touch menace that's the combo, but uh, I think I want to go like think that touch here. Also, this one will not die to a heartless act, but it'll die to me. Only going for the quick veto. Also have to be careful, our opponent could actually have the Sanguine Bond combo, which kinda ends the game for us So we need to... Yeah, I'm gonna play the Varagon. This one's a bit sad though. As far as... Our opponent's gonna hit 4 and hit 5, so my concern is if he hits the Bond, that's it. He does not hit the Bond. So I can string with these three. I can boast for a target. Okay, let's. So I need to decide if I want to just boast now or. Yeah, let's boast now. So, normally we aim for Finn, but. I'm actually gonna go for Gem Razor here. Because I want to see if our opponent has the Sanguine Bond. I can see an argument for going Gifted Aetherborn, but I'm actually going to hold. Reason for the hold here is if our opponent... Is that Sanguine Bond or Exquisite Blood? I want to see if he has the combo right away. No Heartless Act. Okay, that's fine. Saying removal, that's fine. Take, goes down to 10, we'll take 1. So, we will just want to kind of time now. So I definitely want to keep the Gem Razor. Could use another land, but... There's a Vengeful Reaper, so that's an option. So... I actually could just play the Vraska Swarm's Eminence, start putting smaller creatures down. So, the nice thing about Exquisite Blood is that it will cost our opponent most of their mana. We could use. We, okay. But, um. Oops, Silver Smoke Bull. 
Okay, we can questing beast our way out of this. One could have a kill spell, but that's fine. Actually, let's just play this out first. I'm trying to I'm starting to see an argument for some additional enchantment removal like libation or to feed the swamp stuff it's starting to look great. I think our opponent's also aiming to awakening. That's a okay, that's a big drop. So we can actually just take the two life take the two. So our opponent can only block with Okay, these two Oh. Send so the go dodge two. Which scares me. Kinda wish our opponent oh oh wait, no, we would have lost life, so the land was actually good for us. But does he have the combo? Nope, Sanctum Seeker. That's one way to get it started though. So we kinda need this does not have vigilance. It gains a little life. He takes a little bit of damage. We will auto block Vito. Because Sanctum Seeker is gonna block it anyway. Nightmare's curse. Still enough to kill it, so it gets it off the board, which is more important to me. If our opponent has no way of agonizing remorse, we'll probably take the gem razor. Yeah, because that would have. Well, I'm really tempted to just hold up the Hagra Mauling as a way to. Yeah, but our opponent. Well, has a way of gaining life. They're literally top decking, though. Well, they can. Yeah, I should have done this first if, if I was going to change my mind. Wait, they gained that much life too, so they're actually up to six. Those weed though, probably drops the spawn of mayhem as well. Wow, they just unloaded. So. Yeah, they're gonna snipe Raska, which is a bit of a shame. So, wow, I might lose to this. Hold on, Hagra Mauling. Yeah, let's, let's just block this. Let's get it out of the way. Oh! I don't have to try harder than that. Okay. Turn Timber Symbiosis. We do need to snipe this Spawn of Mayhem. Oh, the caveat is if our opponent gives lifelink, that's a problem, so... so I need to take this out before that happens, so 3, 5, 7... Our opponent gets to play it, but not to just put it back down again, so that's the good news. But yeah, we kind of need to drop the Hornet Queen next turn. Well, we... We got close. I think the closest we got was like two, but... Wow. The Twilight Prophet's actually very good. Oh, yeah. going for the Grey Merchant. You know what? We can concede that... We can concede this one. We simply lost most of our board to that. And our... I was so scared about that one combo. I... I probably should have played more aggressively. We we got we got our opponent down very close. We should have put, played that one more aggressively. But that was worth a shot. So some issues we could see, the lack of card draw. I could see a version where we just go 
we could just go all elves then we get just give the death touch much later but i'm i'm gonna give this concept a little bit more of a try let's give it the good old, old college try at least So notable cards I did not include. God Eternal Ruin as was not in. Okay. So we got three lands. Uh, Shimmer Drift Veil. Yeah, we'll keep. The Hornet Queen is starting to look really bad now. I did consider putting Sarulf. That one's very nasty. Very good. Turn two fin Fiend Artisans bad, so I'm probably gonna go foretell Vengeful Reaper, play Vengeful Reaper. You know the drill. Green secret. So, having so, so if I need to, oh, I have an option to play a tree drop, but it's very scary against this color combo. Like we're just one kill spell away from getting dinged. Opponent also holding back, which does make sense. So. There's an argument also for just playing this. It's tempting to hold it back against this guy, but I'm expecting our opponent to just have removal. And I'm and I'm aiming to rush the seven here. So this only grows when my stuff dies, so I should assume that our opponent has a lot of stuff that has a way to kill this one for example no i would have done it first opponent holding back does scare me a bit oh no he did have it so that was that was a bit of an anti-timing so this does not have haste One is really digging for their lands. Well, they're not hitting, but they're gonna. Hit. Yeah, they have. They pro yeah, based on the Saruf, they have kill spells of the of the Nile and all that. So we... yeah, and even the Hornet Queen's not so good because our opponent can. I guess it's a good reason for us to actually put Saruf in our deck. Cause we're, cause the way it, our deck works, we're pretty much taking out our opponent's stuff. So it's not not such a bad idea. Now I kind of wish I had the. Uh, I do have a casualties of war in this deck. I kind of wish I can draw into it. Or at the very least, I can wish our opponent stops drawing removal for crying out loud. Okay, let's just once upon a time. Let's see if we can hit something. Chevel, Grim Dancer. None of this is great. The land might actually be the great answer here. Wow. Yeah, they had three kill spells in a row. Very unsporting, but sometimes that's how it goes. So we will just play the Fiend Artisan. And we will play Rasta Sun's Eminence. Maybe a mistake to play it immediately because um, our this one takes out converted mana cost. It will take our opponent has to decide if he wants to lose the signet and green seeker. No, they did not. So they probably have a way to snipe this. I'm so willing to just what six drop can I pull out from this? Yeah, we do need to have um, we need to have creatures that actually hit. They probably snipe the Fiend Artisan. Oh, they're going for... But it does save us from one attack. Oh no, Blood Chief's Turst. Very unsporting. All removal? Well, 
And the worst thing about it now, well, actually the good thing about it now is that we can play Hornet Queen, force our opponent to... Force our opponent to drain everything out. They get back a card with converted mana cost. Well, that's the Dry Green Seeker. No, gonna leave it behind. So probably has a. Well, they. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for the block while they still have only one green, one, one tree CMC creature. And the interesting thing now is. Okay, now has the now now can take these out next turn. So I'm temp actually interested in holding like one or two back, and I can just swing with these two with Veraska. Yeah, that's what's expected. Yeah, now we're flooding. That's not bad news. Get along because we're both cutthroats. I'm good at it. I've done things I'm not proud of. So our opponent can drain all the counters, which I'm aim hoping for. I just end up taking three. Opponent has to just yeah, opponent goes for it. For now. Zone again. We have way too much mana at this point. Hope we can hit the blood in the snow, but not too much. I'm also more concerned about this last. Oh, oh okay. So with no humans, tree and okay, a little bit awkward. Like I can play this, make a one. If our opponent has a kill spell, it kills us still. Not even. Gem Razor is a creature. That should buy that should buy us as much time as it did. really depends on what our opponent has a memorial to folly, so oh kill Oh wait. He can get Cav of Night back. And cast it again. Which is an inter which is a fine sequence, I'd say. Well, it's not a great sequence, but it's slightly better than what what we've had to go up against, all things considered. And we can still drop Raska for yeah, our opponent not having any trample helps us. Oh, opponent's gonna leave it be behind. So no attacks for now because if our opponent drops this, I don't want to give them an easy way to ding Veraska. Also, I want to have Is Is Isaret live as soon as possible. Crashing draw to dog. Okay, that's fine. We're not. Have a knight. Probably sacrifices the trashing draw to dawn to snipe token. Opponent needs to decide if they swing. I will block. So there's a trigger, but that. Okay. Yeah, there's a trigger, but not. Nothing. Nah, the lance is an issue. Evil call me a death but I rarely offer discounts. I'm trying to think if there are any effects that cause us. So if we attack with Isaret, we. We just attack, we pay X, and what are our good targets? X equals 4, X equals 3, it's not so good. X equals 2 allows us to search our library. So we have some choices for X equals 4. Natural piece of war. 
Pity we couldn't have been One, two, allies. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we draw another land, we get to cast it again. Opponent's getting a lot of value off their cav. Can't really do much about it. Yeah, and then I am priced in. I really don't have to out for that. And yeah, at least they used up their memorial to get it back. I don't feel good sacking lands just to just to start drawing cards, but we might not have a choice. We have to oh so yeah, point please start off again. If Raska lives, we're fine. There's a fine finality, so let's see. I can use fine to get two cards. Oh, I can use it to get Isaret and something else back. Yeah, we're gonna go Isaret Fiend Artisan. So, play the Fiend Artisan. Play the Isaret. Sacrifice. Turn Timber Symbiosis. We'll save that for next time. We can also just, if our opponent has no way of um, dinging Vraska, we could just give her up right, right then and there. Plus, the next plan is cast Falmar Knight, sack to get something, but. What's a good choice? Okay, I did not expect a quick concession. I think our opponent expected us to start getting stuff, getting stuff back already at this point, so. We managed to outvalue the value engine. I'll take it. I'll take it. We, we outvalued that one. Okay, so let's see if we can let's see if we can how much more we can push this deck. Already I'm seeing some cases like we could give up some creatures in favor of in favor of more utility spells, not necessarily creature kill. Like we want spells that can target other stuff. I cannot just wait for a casualties of war or a Well, we got casualties of war. So Blooming Marsh fa Fabled Passage once upon a time. Okay, so we're going to go with this one. Opponent we've been paired this is our third no no our the earlier deck was a. Uh, the earlier deck was just mono black. But this is our third green black deck. Everyone's love everyone's loving this color. So we're gonna go Fiend Artist on turn 2. So here in Void. Not exactly... A, well, our opponent's gonna dig through a lot of land, so that does make sense. So we are gonna sack this. Let's go for a Swamp because we got a lot of double black in the cost. So see if we can draw another land naturally. Other, otherwise, I will... Or else I will go once upon No, we did not, but we did get removal. So, first things first, once upon a time before we forget. Command tower is good, snow covered swamp is good. We only have one snow covered land, so it's a long way out. Kinda wish we could take Finn, but we're gonna we're gonna go for the long game. So we will take the command tower. Play the command tower, play the fuse artist. So, Blooming Marsh, kind of draw a card, I guess. It does pump into a 2-2. Wow, and it's just ramping all the way. We have... It's going to be a while before we could actually punish our opponents, so that's an issue. We did get a land. We are forced to play this first. The Woodland Castle is a bit awkward. So, draw a card using life, because that actually pumps the free card in the sun. Oh no, it, oh no, it does not because it puts something on an adventure. Oops. Well, it's not like I got anything better to do it. Yeah, have to. This one's awkward. But 
If we can hit another natural land, we can binding the old gods to save by us quite a bit of time. Yeah, the, the search for lands. Who would have thought? I think our opponent's probably gonna drop Gedrog if not something else. If our opponent is a horrible, horrible person, they will casualty with casualties of war right here. No, Lilian is dreadful general. Let us march into battle and make it battle, but effective. Okay, we So we'll see if our opponent goes for the minus four. Usually they just do extra zombies. I'm hoping they do okay, they go for the minus four, so they can draw a card. Okay, that's that's kinda of fine. We can call off the Death Dweller stuff back. So we kinda of want more mana for this one. But we also need to just drop this ASAP. Wow. Opponent just playing the value game. Rise, my elemental friend. So we will bind the old gods for lack of anything better to do. We are gonna take a piece kit. Yeah, I also will have to play this as a land. So actually the correct play might be to I need to snipe one planeswalker because I won't be able to snipe both. So it's a question of which one do I snipe? Probably this. Uh... Fight on without me. Sounds weird. I think that's a mistake. If our opponent has enchantment removal, I'll be sad because that strands are casualties. Our promise. So. I'm trying to remember if Field of the Dead is still legal in... I think it's still legal in Brawl. That will explain the setup. And that would mean I'm in trouble. Yeah, Field of the Dead is still legal. And sack some land so they draw cards with Gitrog, which is good, good stuff. So I can take out a land, a creature, a planeswalker. I kind of wanted to take both out, but I might have no choice. I might have to take this one, this one, and this one out. Uh, I'm just going to have a ton of zombies. Good health is no easy to that. find in war. Yeah, we're going to be lit. Skull Prophet. Yes. Or puts in play tap, so we don't even get that benefit. So, let's see. I can play the Gaunti just to take out our opponent's next best thing. I can play Gitrog. Oh, well, we really need to hit the land off the top. I can play Vengeful Reaper just to... Oh, wait. I'm going to play this one just to buy us some time so we don't get sniped by a... Now, now. Don't be pushy. But we don't get sniped by a double wrath. Get these two back. So that touch on the fiend artisan, and then this can go on the other one. Well, I don't. I'm. I'm pretty sure we don't survive this though. Great bench. Okay, that gives us an artifact to snipe. So. We're not press, so we have choice. Ancient Green Ward. What does this let you do? Play? Oh wow! In fact, I actually might need an extinction event. Well, we'll still get something, but we're pretty much dead on board anyway. Uh, so what the heck? Yeah, we got stuck on a lot of land. You may play land from your graveyard, you may play the same. Oh, that's disgusting. Let's see, this is even, even. This is the only odd one. This would be an even, so. Oddly enough, if I hit. Oddly enough, I will really need an extinction event. <laughs> Rise! 
opponent might just want me to swing with everything. We'll definitely take out the grit. On the off chance we draw an extinction event, we will snipe the get drop monster. Opponent just swings with that. I'm probably gonna actually just take. Yeah, let's just take it. Nope, we did not get. We did not get what we need. So that's kind of. That's kind of it for us. But yeah, I just want to make a statement. So artifact creature land planeswalker. So there's the artif artifact creature. Definitely get rog. Land, definitely this. Planeswalker, definitely that. This. Yeah, but we got stuck on lands for a long time, so Death that was a really big minus for so us. Easily. So, there we go. They're probably getting a quick Liliana off all that ramp, so I might consider more of a soul. Yeah, not ha not having the interaction really hurts us. So, another version of this one would definitely be elf centric, but a lot of the, a lot of the discard like, like elder elder fang mentor the, the common that, the elven relent the elven ravenous rats that, that's definitely gonna be an in some of the other discard cards would. So other ways of discarding cards. This is historic, so definitely taught is in. Why am I? Why is there no taught? Okay. So after this, I'll do another. I'll I'll go. I'll really go through. Uh, at least I'm not a sacrifice deck. Uh, uh, I'll take the free mulligan. Missing a color hurts. Okay, this is a lot better. Yeah, turn one renegade. Turn two triton. See if we can hit something else. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with this. Actually, Blizzard Brawl would be a perfect fight card, too, though we don't have enough swamps, snow covered lands to merit it. So it's still kind of something. Opponents probably seeing if we have been or not. We don't have. But we do have the 4 mana, so. Well, actually, more than 4 mana, so. Ugh, I, need, I wanted those cards. Yeah, I would have at least liked this one. Our opponent's definitely playing a control style deck, so. Can I take the relic card? Um, okay, we're definitely saving that. So our opponent can play this one just to dig up. Big up planes in the swamp. Uh, planes in the swamp. Planes in the forest. But the sack to search for a land, that's actually the scary part. Hmm. Whatever I feel suits them. Opponents is giving up the knight? Okay, he's definitely gonna activate this to sack and get something first. But that's a that's a very easy That's a quick give up. Okay. We do have ways to get them back, so Isaret next turn. Questing Beast might be fine too, depending on what our opponent drops next. Paradise Druid. Okay, they're gonna try to ramp into something. Remorseful Cleric. Ooh, wow. So let's assume that we're gonna kiss all those cards goodbyes. Okay, first, definitely want to trip it. Not gonna foretell. Well, I want to force our opponent to go through the hoops of snipe. Oh, I'm 
running out of room to store my trophies. Yeah. yeah. If he wants to do... Deserve whatever I feel suits them. So Isra is not a great deal. Faraska doesn't really help us quite a bit. We're just accepting that we're gonna have a slightly larger one, so... I won't forgive this. I would like to hit at least two more lands. Okay, shall I? Oh, we can still punch through her. Tomic. That's interesting, but... Okay, wait. Enters tapped. So since they're all flyers, I'm I'm not an useless thing with everything. When it's just taking it. I have to be careful of a settled wreckage. If our opponent just leaves a lot all this mana up, that's pretty much settled the wreckage. Yeah, especially if they don't cast Yasharn or anything for that matter. They're clearly signaling settled the wreckage. They could also be signaling that okay no. Okay. So Vraska is not gonna hit this. That's a bit of a shame. Well, Shalai is not gonna get hit anyway. We hit our seventh land, so I'm actually gonna just play the grass the house. Yeah, that should encourage a block there and a block there. So I need to decide if. Yeah, I, I have to because our because our opponent's gonna just um They could play the eighth land, they could play Yasharn yet again. Well definitely swing with Shalai first and that on me, that's fine. So next time we go for the turn timber symbiosis Don't be surprised if we into something. Okay, casualties of war is only gonna hit the two two things, which maybe it's fine. Let's save it for when our opponent actually has something else. Oh. Okay, so we can finally test Finn. Our opponent's life total is awfully low though, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it anyway. Yeah, this has reach, so I'm gonna hold that. And now our opponent has an interesting set. Well, they might still have the removal, but I can f semi feel confident. Let's see what their big drop is. Vivian Blackblade. Okay, we, we still can't target this. We really need to snipe this first. Uh, gives this indestructible. No blocks. Yeah, maybe. let's see if. We're... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll take us a while to play this. So I can actually play Isareth. And Raska Golgari Queen. Let's swing first. Oh wait, we there we, we will get to take something out. Uh yeah, let's go. Three, four, five. Make counters this pl plus one plus one. It will force a block that way, so that's good news.
does this have trample? Oh, it does have trample. Oh, blood in the snow is kind of perfect here. So, let's see what our opponent does. It's an indestructible. I believe in you, friend. I have to do the math here carefully, so I need to. I'm pro I'm definitely blocking with Finn. If he goes after, Vra okay, he's going after me. So auto block with Finn. That that um keeps me down to eight. So so it's just basically a damage punch. It's not not much else. Platinum Angel. That's. Oh wow, not having to target this first is annoying. But hold on. One, two, three, four, five. This one's a four. If I attack with this one first. Wait, hold on. Yeah, because our opponent's not gonna lose either way, so I have to I have to do the destroy all creatures part. Okay, with snow. Does he have a way of protecting it? I'll be cross I'll be so cross if it's the if Does pair down the Gideon Black Blade. You fight um, dirty. Since that's all the use for my snowman, now we can start eating some of our other lands now. Okay, there you go. Even mind sensor. Stand down. So four, five, six. Wow, this is going to be very close. Return to the lands. Brings that back. We cast that. Nothing. Oh wait. If our opponent has no other... He has to have a removal sense. I right. believe it. Lifelink, okay, that makes sense. We can actually just minus 5 to take that out. Or minus 3 to take that out later. Knight of Autumn. Um, a bit yeah. Okay, so. Creature, land, planeswalker. Wow. Oh wait, creature, uh, land, planeswalker. I am not quite indestructible. Destroy target creature with converted mana cost three or less. What? There we go. Today's your lucky day. Yeah, good game. Yeah, we were saving it for the longest time. So I'm gonna, yeah. So I'm gonna make the few mi few minor changes here. But we'll add some generally better cards. We'll cut some of the cards that are, yeah, they're fine. They're creatures, but we kind of need more utility at this. We kind of need a little more extra utility at this point. So we're gonna go make some changes on that. So. So Malakir Familiar, it's definitely one of the weaker ones. We never saw the Blight, Bright, Blight Fang or Chevel yet, but those are okay. Gaunti's fine. Gem Razor is kind of fine. Gitrog, surpri it's big, but it helps. Yeah, I'm still going to keep that. Enforcer, kind of fine.
Okay, first we're gonna add Totsies because that's the Fatal Push is probably the next best thing, but we uh, Malkyrie Rebirth is there's an argument for Malkyrie Rebirth, but yeah, let's add the Totsies first. Vampire of Dark Moon feels like a meme, so we're gonna cut that one. Uh definitely Yeah, Malkyrie Rebirth, it's an extra land. And it's a way to get stuff back. Yeah, let's 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 put that in. So Malachi Rebirth taught sees minus one minus one bat minus We didn't get to test much of everything else yet, so I'm still gonna leave the others here. Um argument can be made for no, we're. No, I think we are okay in the in the lands department. So I'm gonna s I'm gonna stick with those minor changes. We probably want more changes down the line. But we'll start with that. No, it's also Malak. It's also Malakir. So Malakir familiar becomes becomes Malakir rebirth. Yeah, this is definitely key. We will remember to once upon a time first though. Okay, so Malakir, Malakir, Birds. And which one's the... What's the name of that small 1-1 one, one creature? Okay. First. Oh, it's a Kenry the deck, so first we want to cast Once Upon a Time. Okay. Oh! They're also trying the same thing. Interesting. I get to take... Oh, wait, no, no, this is my de deck. So, what do I want as my turn two? Hooded Blight Fang is fine. The Gem Razor might actually be the better fit. Yeah, let's take the Gem Razor. So Dryad, Realm Cloak Giant, Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Opponent's man is a mess, so we'll take snipe the Dryad of the Elysian group. So next turn we can actually shimmer drift veil Falmar. Yeah, this one needs to be in green. Because I'm assuming your opponent has like um, artifact ways of getting lands back, so I need to, I need to have an opportunity to snipe it. Otherwise, I think it's revel in the fact that, um, well. Yeah, this one's gonna be slightly awkward, knowing that our opponent has an ECD. Opponent's more likely to wrath the board first anyway. So I'm definitely gonna go Swarm's Eminence next turn. Does our po opponent have a counter spell? That would be annoying, but I'd have no real outs against that. What's the name of that small vampire again? Oh, Vampire of the Dire Moon. Okay, there we go. So that becomes Tonsies. Okay, so save. Opponent. Just place the. L That's it? I think our opponent is about to tr is trying to go for the realm of giant, but they're missing double white. Nobody 
appreciates my handiwork. How you live is how you'll die. Yeah. We might have messed up our opponent's mana quite. Yeah, our opponent was relying on that one. Assassin's Trophy is not so great because our opponent. Well, if our opponent tries to take out Vraska, I'm fine. Yeah, I was so worried about this. I forgot our opponent didn't. Took them all. Oh, wow. They really don't have the mana. I don't. I'm pretty sure these are not going to go all the way. Escape to the wilds. Okay, that's a way to dig for mana. Uh, okay, there's a red. White, white. Oh. Still no white, but they do have an Uro. Might as well play the red at least. Wow, opponent. Without knowing what these two other cards are, it really looks like our opponent bricked. There's a Midnight Reaper, which. Yeah, let's play the Midnight Reaper as a safety feature. Yeah, that Totsies was really good. I think I should. <clears throat> I probably should play more as a control deck at this point. That's a bad assassin. We can get close. Uro, okay, gains a little life. Still, but having every board wipe be yeah. I'm, I think our opponent should have at least a storm's wrath. No, okay, there's the Fabled Passage, which will get them one white, which is presumably for Felidar Retreat. Which I can... Okay, let's see them go... Yeah, and they have to sack it first, so they only get one cat. It's still better than nothing, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, they still have to sack it first, so... Wait a minute. That's, that's an anti-timing. They should... Oh, wait, they have something else. That's the only reason they're doing this now. Because if they play so Yeah, they have to be proactive here. If it's Storm's Wrath, I just I guess I guess I restart again, draw new cards. But, oh, it is an anti-timing. Regular assassins. Um, well, they're racist assassins. Oh, it's still not enough. If our opponent has the next white in hand, then that that kind of does it. Our board gets wiped. Yeah, I kind of did a miscalculation there. I pro I probably didn't even need to do it. Oh, it's tapped! He could go for the Kenrith, but... Kenrith will not gain him life. It will... It won't even draw him apart at this rate. He pro he has to go for Ur... Oh, he's one, he's one card short. He's going for the Kenrith. Question is, what is his follow up? I need this because the other card he brings down might be Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. We draw one. So, oh, there they go. Okay, so Totsi's still very good. I guess we should. Yeah, we should prop. So, if we were to tune this deck even further, make it less Mimi, we will probably add. We'll probably add more control elements. Agonizing Remorse. Maybe not the Duress. Elspeth's Nightmare does make sense. The, I have the Inscription of Ruin there because it do, does serve us multiple... Per, it, it serves um, multiple purposes for us. Okay, so... How many wins is that? That's three wins. Yeah, I get... That was fine. We'll probably do one more game. No guarantees that it's going to be great, but it's... 
But all in all, yeah, we can we can be controlled very easily. That's the that's one concern. But Ooh. okay, so Eluna. So this is spells. Well, it's mostly spells, which makes this a re which makes this horrible as a keep, but. I guess I'm okay with the turn one, turn one free scry. If I need a creature on board, I will just drop the Falmire Knight. But call of the Death Dwell, yeah, call of the Death Dweller is subpar here. I'm thinking of Mulliganing to a better hand, but what exactly is a better hand here? Yeah, that's just for now. So let's re let's review what Luna does. Okay, the Mar Triton's a good hit. Definitely keeping the binding of the old gods. So turn two, Mar Triton. Turn three, Foul Mar Knight's an option. Turn four, we can remove something. So we got some we got some early gas at least. If our point all you want live without it. So if our opponent has burn, I'm gonna be forced to just play the Falmar Knight as is. Unless I draw another two drop we'll see. Cause our opponent definitely wants to mutate on top of this. This is basically a mutate gravy train here. Binding the old gods would be a very big hit. On some short shark. Bounces the Mar Triton. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We take uh what's this? Four damage? Yeah. We take they just another mutate creature, so not good not good tidings for us. That said the Mar Triton again. We can foul our knight to force our opponent to force our opponent to mutate something better onto this. We got binding next turn, so it's gonna it's six to it's five to mutate, so we really have to snipe this next turn. And then we go Phoenix, so what does this do again? Whenever this mutates, return target Phoenix card from the back. Oh, so it gets it back. The Everquill Phoenix is a 4. Okay, so this becomes a problem. So... Should I? Because um, our opponent's about to hit a permanent card with this, so I can delay it a bit by. Yeah, I have to delay it. I also need to start build, building up my mana. So our opponent will get it back tap. I, I take a hit of 4, I have, yeah, I don't have enough outs for this. Our opponent's about to mutate onto it soon. Oh, very soon. Awesome. Oh, that's a that's very annoying. And I just lost my extinction event. Okay, so... Something to note is that we probably want... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Yeah, I guess we want 6. Or oh, 5 at least, so 1, 2, 3... So what other cards we have in the yard? Just a Grim Dancer? No. I can snipe the artifact to slow down. I can snipe the artifact to s s force our opponent to have a land drop. I'm also missing one blue, so yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna we're gonna go with that convoluted version of the plan. 
Conan's about to draw a lot of cards though, so that's a scary bit. Go ahead. Beg for mercy. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. This one's forced to attack, so that, that's the saving grace. It's not gonna block forever. But yeah, it looks like we kinda we want to invest in we want to invest in more. Oh, yeah, he's, he was forced to hard cast it. That's the good news. But what exactly am I getting back? So combat damage to a player draws a card. So yeah, no no blocks because Yeah, but we're not gonna win against this this one right now. We kinda want blood in the snow at this point. How am I gonna get there? Hmm. So Fiend Artisan Fiend Artisan Martriton. Oh wait, we have seven mana, so Fiend Artisan. Mar Triton. Okay, kinda wanted the Varagot. Wait, we can get Varagot back. I'm pretty sure our opponent's not blocking them. So one, two, one, two, three, four. We can get a five drop. That's well that's get drug monster. More drag is that's the instant. Oh that's more annoying, but did not but there is no instant or sorcery, so that's the good news. Don't force the attack with this all the time. So the problem is we're about to take ten. And I just chose not to get that back the life link die. And it puts it on the top of the library, so no dice. Yeah, this one's a very Yeah, five, four. Yeah, the Everquill Phoenix was okay, <laughs> Good game on this one. Not so. Yeah, we want more. We want actual exile effects to in this point. So we're gonna do one more change to the deck list. So what are we looking at? We kind of want to look for cards like Eat Extinction. That's a very good one. So yeah, we just so we're gonna take out a few more creatures that are underperforming. Then just uh, then I'll just then I'll just call the list, call that the list. So we'll, so we'll make those ch we'll make those changes very quick. Then we'll call as show. So let's see, Isaret's fine. So yeah, we need more exile effects. So let's look at exile. We also need cheaper removal in that sense. So it's slightly weird. Call of the Death Dweller seems fine. Cling to Dust would actually be great. So let's see, Orzov Enforcer is um, Orzov Enforcer is definitely one of the weaker ones. Uh, Timur, it's something I would consider. It's a, it's a good way to gain life. It's a, but I probably would just rather have Cling to Dust at that point. Fiend Artisan's not been pulling its weight at all, so we'll sub that with the Eat to Extinction. And let's see. What other are legions and that's a cheap exile effect. Agonizing remorse. Again, if we want to go more early control, which does make sense. Grim Dancer's also not been pulling its weight. So
Egon God, Egon God of Death. No, we don't go through our graveyard that much. Never to return is interesting. It's well, it's cheaper. That's what's well, a sorcery speed. I already have Murderous Rider at this point, but having more doesn't hurt. Actually, one thing I wanted to try adding doesn't quite exile, but Blizzard Brawl is something I consider. Basically, any any additional effects that add snow, let's let's give it a try. Let's see what else we have, because I only have blood in the snow right now. Draugr Necromancer looks like a good fit, so I'm actually tempted to give this one a shot. In fact, but oh wow, that just that lumps everything in the four range. But it is worth a shot. I would actually just cut the call of the Death Dweller at this point. So this one looks at least slightly more interesting. So I'm pro so I'd probably go with it this way. So there we go. That's it for well, I've got some packs, but I'm gonna export this decks one more time. And there we go. That's it for this episode, the Magic Arena run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, turn on notifications and whatnot. Let me know what you've tried out for for Historic. See um, if any... Especially if you've gone through Brawl with an uncommon uncommon commander, be it a le legendary creature or one of the War of the Spark Planeswalkers. Let me know see, um, how they, how they ter panned out. Did they do really well or... It's still where you rather have more power. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you guys again next time. Take care. God bless. Stay safe wherever you are. Have a great weekend, everyone.